We can't give Goodyear enough credit, one the chief engineer Al Oppenheiser said before the drive. Indeed, the ZL1's Eagle F1 supercar tires deserve a great big thank you card, but its FE4 suspension and magnetor heological dampers keep things resolutely planted as well. As another straight leads into a left-right-left-right series of turns followed by a skid pad-like arc, the composure this muscle coupe maintains really is astonishing as its 3,747 pounds are flung from side to side. There's also an immediacy to the steering's turn and when in track mode. Through the same track portion, the M4 just couldn't maintain the same pace, it was shot in 20-inch Michelin Super Sports. It felt like a highly capable road car exerting itself, the Camaro felt right at home. And yet, the SS1 isn't some track only special. Sure, the roads we circuitously drove from Las Vegas to Spring Mountain's home of Perump, Nevada, a town as nice as its name suggests, were beautifully paved. But I also accidentally left the car in track mode after bombing through some canyon roads and never found the ride objectionable. Once the magnetic suspension was eventually set to the more appropriate tour mode, things got comparatively plush. I drove a Mercedes C300 recently with the less pleasant ride. Heck, even the track steering was perfectly fine on the highway, usually sport steering settings are rife with excessive weight and dotty tendencies. There's a reason I didn't notice it was still in track. 